Hey there, Rider Hearts! Just Rider here, and today I would like to update you on a very recent occurrence. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So on the 13th at 11 a.m., I wake up and open a communications app to find I've been placed in a group with my associate Heart and one of my other friends. These both being the people I've known the longest on this app and have grown the closest to. And in their messages they sent, there are two multiple paragraph long paragraphs. It's like, just goes on and on about the ways I've apparently mentally abused them and how mentally challenging it is to be friends with and how I've hurt them and how I've wronged them and all the things I've done wrong pretty much. They made basically a list saying what I have been doing wrong and how bad of a person I am. Um, and I am unfazed by this. I am completely fine. I'm going to move on from this situation because I didn't trust it not to go this way. Um, but I just wanted to talk about this today. Um, so in terms of the company, right now I am continuing on with it. I'm going to upload this and for now it might be the last clip I upload until we get another heart. But I am looking for new members to be part and podcast with me as well as other members for other departments and... You can, of course, just message me at 616-302-6307. I'll try to get back to you, but let's dive into the actual scenario now. I am by no means perfect, and I do realize that. Neither is anybody else. I made mistakes, everybody else has made a mistake before, but what I don't understand in relation to this situation is what happened in the last few hours because you got to realize we were talking normally um and i said good night or something or i sent you know some sort of message saying good night or goodbye or see you later and i go to sleep i wake up around 11 o'clock on the 13th as i said and suddenly i'm placed in this group both of the people in the group have left and they're no longer friends with me. And I will say, yes, I do have a temper when it comes to communication because in today's age and world, even if you're busy constantly, it doesn't hurt to send a quick text. Hey, I'm busy. Hey, I'm doing this. Or hi, what's up? And so I do get frustrated about that. And of course, Hart was my one of my bestest friends. I trusted her literally the most out of anybody I know. And so, of course, whenever something happened to me, we'd talk about her. I'd let her know, or I'd send her screenshots. I'd let all my friends know some of the stuff that's going on in my life. And I'm going to assume that, I guess, eventually they just got tired of it, or they just felt it overwhelming, which... To me, the adult thing to do would be to sit down and talk it out, figure out where I went wrong, what I did wrong, and what a middle ground can be, but I suppose they just had had enough and they no longer want to have anything to do with me, which is fine, um, and I don't, I don't suspect foul play, I'm pretty sure this is legit, they just don't want to be friends anymore, which, it sucks, it's unfortunate, but... And they made it pretty clear in their paragraphs that they just don't want anything to do with me, so I'm going to leave them be, and all I can do is wish them the best and hope that they have a very great, successful life. So, moving forward, both for me and the company, social media will be shutting down. The only method of communication for the company will be through text, 616-302-6307. And we are still looking for more people to join the company. We could use another podcaster to be Heart. And we could use other people for other departments. Editors, animators, programmers, designers. So if you would like to try to be a part of that or have some skill that would be useful. It is purely volunteer at the moment. But eventually it will become a paid profession. Just shoot me a text or give me a call. Leave a voicemail. I'll try and get back to you and let you know some more updates and plans of what I have. In the meantime, um, you can go back, watch, and listen to all of our podcasts, some of the game clips on the clip section, and 
will keep you updated as things move along and as I continue to work with the company. Diving a little more into the scenario, I'm going to say straight off the bat, friends always fight. It's not always going to be a happy-go-lucky, perfectly balanced relationship with the friends. And while Hart wasn't the type of person to really ever get into fights, we had our own opinions about certain subjects and certain things. And there were times where I did get frustrated and I did use caps and I did say things I didn't mean or was upset about or might have been potentially hurtful and... To the individuals who are listening, those two individuals know who they are. I apologize. I'm sorry. Um, and do keep in mind, while I am on the side of possibly emotionally upsetting them and being a bit f up mean and such, I also did get them things they wanted. There was one individual, and you know who you are, who bugged me constantly for a gift card, which... No big deal. I don't mind getting my friends gifts or helping them out, but I do want to point out that there was also, you know, transactions made. I did buy them games. I did try and be nice, give them gifts. You know, I don't think I'm like a horrible friend. I just sometimes let my emotions get the best of me, which everybody does that sometimes. Everybody gets to a point where something spills over and they just lose it or they just need some space and that is what I tried to do whenever I was in such a mood. I would not block them but I would remove them from this communications app as a friend and it, I would let them add me back, we'd talk it out, we you know, patch things up, I'd let them know, hey I just needed some space and things would be fine or so I thought. So um, I don't really know what to say on the situation except if you guys want a reason why I've been mentioning I don't trust people and don't expect things to last, here it is. Um, but I'm going to continue focusing on myself, bettering myself, getting into my hobbies, drawing, art, animating, YouTubing, doing the things I love, and bettering myself. And I would hope that there are some like-minded people out there who would like to join me and who would like to help this company become a success because I would like to just have fun trying not to laugh or podcasting or having game nights and stuff and I'm sure there's other people out there who would like that too. So in conclusion and wrapping this up, moving forward you will be able to contact me at 616-302-6307. Social media is being shut down and we are looking for another heart to replace the current one that has upped it and left. So I think I'm going to end it here and wrap it up. I will try and keep you guys updated. I will try and continue working on the website, adding some new content, and hopefully we get another heart. Hopefully we get a few other members who want to be a team, work together, build this, this startup up from the ground, and sayonara, Rider Hearts. Thank you for listening.